Okay, we're going to look at sample exam number two. Do some calculations here. This looks like it was an exam from fall 2004. Let's start with problem number one. We have state, state space equations given below. Input is unit step function. Initial condition is given. Output equation is given. Find y of t for t greater than zero. So we're going to find the solution to, for the states first, and then we're going to use that to find our solution for y of t. So I've rewritten the basic information here, our A matrix, um, B matrix, input, initial conditions, and our input, of course, is a unit step function. So let's go ahead and talk about what our how we find the solution. Remember, we have a constant A matrix, so our solution for x for our states, x of t, is going to be our zero input response, or our homogeneous response, e to the a t, x at zero. Okay. plus our particular response or our zero state response which is our convolution integral zero to t of e to the a t minus tau b of tau u of tau d tau since we're going from zero to t um, our t zero from the generic equation is just zero all right so let's go ahead and find our um, zero input response first and then we'll find our zero state response second but I guess first of all we need e to the a t um, for this particular a we can write down e to the a t so we've done it enough this a is in Jordan form so we know this is going to be e to the negative 3 t 0 0 e to the negative t but let's for a minute pretend we didn't know that, say you had an A that wasn't in Jordan form or anything, we'll go do a little practice of finding E to the AT. Start off with our generic expression. Um, e to the AT is inverse Laplace transform of SI minus A, the matrix inverted. Okay, so for our case, SI minus A is S plus 3, 0, 0, S plus 1. And that's the matrix we want to invert. And then take the inverse Laplace transform. Keep working on it here. Um, taking the inverse of a 2 by 2 or any matrix, divide by the determinant. S plus 3, S plus 1. And then we get the adjoint matrix here. Pretty simple here. S plus 1 and S plus 3 trade places. And we still have zeros the off diagonal and then when we go through and divide through by our determinant s plus 1 is going to cancel we're going to end up with a 1 over s plus 3 0 0 1 over s plus 1 okay again this is a familiar form we've seen before quite a few times taking the inverse Laplace transform of something like 1 over s plus a we get e to the negative a t so the two diagonal terms are going to have um, e to the at kind of terms and the others are zero. So taking inverse plus transform term by term, we get e to the at is equal to e to the negative 3t, 0, 0, e to the negative t, just like we predicted. Okay, so now we can calculate our zero input response. So x of t, e to the at, x at zero plus the zero state response, but we'll get this first part first. E to the AT and our X of zero was one four. And so we're going to just have again a diagonal matrix. One times E to the negative three T zero zero four E to the negative T. Okay, so then we need to work on our zero state response. We're going to do a convolution integral e to the a t minus tau b tau u of tau d tau. Okay, so let's substitute in for these parts here. Put our matrices inside first. e to the a t minus tau. We're just going to, wherever we had an e to the a for e to the a t, wherever there was a t, we're going to put a t minus tau. So we're going to have a e to the negative 3 t minus tau, 0, 0 e to the negative t minus tau. OK? 
Okay, just substituting in from what we calculated for e to the at. Our b is still 2, 3. And our u is the unit step function. So in the range from 0 to t that we're integrating here, it's just 1 d tau. All right. And so now we can multiply through. We get integral from 0 to t. 2 times e to the negative 3t, 0 times 3, so we're just going to have a 2 e to the negative 3. Um, let's go ahead and break this up. e to the negative 3t, e to the positive 3 tau, just taking the exponents apart here. Down here, 0, and then it's going to have to have a 3 times this term, so we're going to have a 3 e to the negative t and e to the positive tau. Just breaking up our exponent here to get this. All right. Let's bring our integral inside the matrix. Do integral term by term here. So we have integral from 0 to t of 2 e to negative 3 t e to the 3 tau d tau. Same kind of thing here. 3 e to the negative t e to the tau d tau. And now, let's see. We have, we're integrating with respect to tau, so our 2 e to the negative 3t, there's no tau in there, so that's a constant, so we can just pull it outside the matrix, I mean outside the integral. Same thing here, so we can have these coefficients, 2 e to the negative 3t, integral from 0 to t, e to the 3 tau d tau, and 3 e to the negative t, e to the tau d tau. All right, and so, <coughs> can see if we can fit one more step here. Taking this integral, integral of an exponential, you just divide by the coefficient there, so we're going to have 2 thirds e to the negative 3t, bring the dividing by there, and then we're going to evaluate e to the 3 tau between 0 and t. Similarly here, 3 e to the negative t, it's just e to the tau, so we're going to evaluate e to the tau from 0 to t. Integral of e to the tau is just e to the tau. So now we have to plug in those limits. See if we can still see things on the page here. And so what well, we have? 3, oops, 2 thirds e to the negative 3t times, putting in the upper limit, we have e to the 3t, lower limit minus e to the 0. And the second term is coefficient e to the 3 e to the negative t, and then we have e to the tau evaluated at t minus e to the tau evaluated at 0. These both go to 1. And carry through the multiplication here. Multiply e to the negative 3t times e to the 3t. We're going to get e to the negative 3 plus 3t, so we're going to get e to the 0. We're going to have 2 thirds e to the 0, so again we're going to get a 1 there. And now we multiply the e to the negative 3t times the 1, we get a minus e to the negative 3t. Similar thing happens here, we have a 3. Bring multiplying through by this e to the negative t inside, we're going to get e to the negative t plus t, so e to the 0 again. And this 1 multiplied by e to the negative t gets e to the negative t. All right, maybe one more step fits here. So we get 2 thirds, 1 minus e to the negative 3t, and 3 times 1 minus e to the negative t. Okay, so this is our zero state response. Now our full solution for x of t is um, the two added together. A zero input response looks like I did something silly here. There shouldn't be these zeros. It should just be a, a column vector there. And so the zero input response should be um, e to the negative 3t and 4e to the negative t. And then our zero state response we just found. So let's join these together or just simplify here. Okay, that gives us x of t. Now we need y. x1 is the first variable here and x2 is the second. We can just substitute in. So we get y of t is what a 5 and then we get a plus e to the negative 3t and a plus e to the negative t. 
And this is for time greater than zero.